Sony technology excels in both the deep shadows and the bright specular high. Hi, this is Nathan from Adorama Rentals. We're here with Keith from Sony. We're going to talk about the new FS700. Now, Keith, uh, the FS100 was a, ama is an amazing camera, has a, but it had a few things that people didn't like, the ND filters, lack of ND filters, the top handle, the side handle, um, and no SDI out. So is, uh, does this camera, seems to address a lot of the complaints of the first one. Now, is the FS700 an upgrade, or is it an offshoot? So the FS700 is a completely different product. So the 100 is still part of the fleet. It is still a product where you buy it, it would be what you would get is an FS100, which of course is a great camera. This would be again a separate product, not upgradable from the 100. And uh, why 4K? Basically the world of television as we know it is going towards 4K. So HD of course is the standard today, but we foresee that 4K is going to be kind of the new HD, if you will, in the next say three to five years. So therefore if you're gonna shoot things now that you expect to have a life, uh, kind of a syndicated future, if you will, then shooting in 4K now certainly makes it that much more exciting to watch when 4K TVs become the standard. I think something that caught everyone off guard was the frame rates. Why, uh, I mean, how did, how did they uh, engineer that at this price point? It's just an amazing feat of technology. One of the things that people don't really think about too much is the fact that we're the largest semiconductor, the largest manufacturer of imagers in the world. We make 30 million imagers per month. When you make that many imagers per month, you're able to find out ways to engineer things that no one else can. And certainly one of those things is the fact we can essentially get up to 960 frames per second out of a gorgeous imager with fantastic signal to noise ratio, overall great colorimetry. It's really just an astounding combination of features in one imager. And yeah, just the, at this price point, all these features, um, who is this camera aimed at? Basically anybody who wants A to shoot 4K, but not someone theoretically who's going to shoot a feature or episodic TV. We certainly make cameras like the F65, the design is especially for that purpose. But if you're anywhere from the film school level to independent production uh, to everything else that would be in that realm, so to speak, those would be the kind of people that would be appreciative of the 4K quality, the high frame rate, all those kinds of things. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much for your time. I really appreciate thanks it. So much for your time.